Hello, do you know who Warren Buffett is? The picture you can see on the screen there, this old man, is Warren Buffett. He's famous uh, because he's, if not the richest man in the world, he's like number two or number three. He's Amer an American. He's still with us. He's maybe in his 90s now. Uh, but he made his money from investing in the stock market. But he's also famous for giving lots of advice. And um, as I say, he is the one of the richest people in the world. I think number one is either Warren Buffett. Number two is like Bill Gates. Number three, Elon Musk. Th those kinds of people. He's, he's way up there. He's got billions of dollars. He's crazy rich. Therefore, we have to listen to him. No, we don't have to listen to him. But maybe he's got some advice that we could take um, that may be useful. One of them is start rich and you can get even richer, but that's not the advice he's giving here. Um, but there are some good points here. Maybe this is common sense. I don't know. Life advice from Warren Buffett. OK, I've got two quotes here and then he's got three habits. So we'll look at the two quotes here. You only have to do a very few things right in your life so long as you don't do too many things wrong. Right. So do a few important things right, like maybe marry the right person, save some money. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to tell me what the right things are. Uh, as long as you don't do too many things wrong. If you do get the main things right, a few mistakes here and there are expected. So that's good news. You can make mistakes. Uh, the second one is, it's not necessary to do extraordinary things to get extraordinary results. So the idea here is that, yeah, yeah he's an extraordinary, you know, unusual. He's unusually rich, very, very rich. But he didn't do an unusually amazing thing. He just saved up his money and invested smartly. And it grew little by little by little by little. And he's 90 years old. So now he's the richest man in the world. He wasn't always the richest man. So doing the right things over time can make a big difference. You don't have to do, you don't have to be Elon Musk or Bill Gates. You can just be you, but do sensible things every day. I think that's what that means. Okay. And um, he's got three habits. It says three habits, Buffett, Buffett habits to practice. These have worked for him. Will they work for you? Okay, so we've got three kind of rules, things to do. All right, one, two, three. Number one, surround yourself with the right people. And Buffett says, you will move in the direction of the people that you associate with. So it's important to associate with people that are better than yourself. What? It means your friends and people you work with or your student, you know, classmates, if you're with smarter people than you, you will do better. So hang around with more intelligent people. Don't hang around with less intelligent people. <laughs> and if it's more intelligent, they will help you or more helpful or more whatever. Better people than you. Find better people than you and spend time with them and you, your life will get better. Number two, act swiftly on a decision. Swiftly means quickly. So make a decision, then act quickly. Um, he calls it, if you don't, if you make a decision, but then don't do anything, he calls that thumb sucking, sucking your thumb, like a little kid. You know, um, when you should go ahead and do something. What does this mean? I think my advice, I'm not Warren Buffett, but my advice, or I've read other places is, you should spend a long time thinking about what to decide. Like, should I do this or should I do that? Well, spend a long time thinking about it. But once you decide, I'm going to do that, do it then, do it quickly. Once you decide it's the right thing to do, um, don't, don't go back and say, oh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. You know, it's like, should we buy a new house or not buy a new house? Well, the advantages are this, the disadvantages are this. Mm -hmm. When do we have to decide? Uh, we've got one week to think about it. Okay, we'll keep thinking about it for that one week. The night before you must decide, you decide, yes, we will buy a house or no, we will not buy a house. And then for the rest of the week, you don't go back and say, oh, was that the right decision? Oh, I don't know. No, you've decided. Move forward. Maybe. <laughs> okay, number three is a strange one. Invest in yourself. Invest means put money in to get more money out. 
like stock market or something, but invest in yourself. Um, he says, if you can communicate well in business, you will become worth 50% more than you are now. Um, if you can't communicate well in business, Buffett warns, it's like winking at a girl in the dark. Nothing happens. You can have all the brain power in the world, but you have to be able to transmit it. And the transmission is communication. So here I think he means work on being able to communicate with other people. So it, learning English is a way of communicating, but also, you know, speaking to people and explaining what you really want clearly so other people can understand. These are, this is what he thinks is a good way to invest in yourself, to improve your skills. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. Number one, do you think these habits would work for you? These are the three habits. Surround yourself with the right people, act swiftly on a decision, invest in yourself. Would these work for you? Number two, how can you invest in yourself? What skills can you increase to make your life better? And number three, what have you done right in your life? What have you done wrong? So right and wrong. Okay. Think about those questions and we'll chat when I see you next. Okay. Good luck. Listen to Warren Buffett. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> See you soon.